Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon, Father. My dear sisters and brothers, we continue in the liturgy of the word today from the book of Samuel. And this is the part where the people are asking for a king. Samuel has his own worms about that and he takes it to the Lord and then the Lord tells him it's true they are really rebelling against me but then Samuel gives his own interpretation of what the Lord says and tells them no but the people still insist and the Lord has his plan he has his plan he allows his plan to work he says give them a king now what is the message for us we will see that in the gospel reading where Jesus is making us understand. He is the master in spite of things being not the way it should be. He will work right. He forgives the sins of somebody. And the others say, who is he to forgive sin? And he says, to prove to you that the Son of Man has power to forgive sin, he heals that man. Shows that he is the master. He knows what he's doing. On our own part, have we laid whatever our situation is, Whatever our problems are, have we bring, bring them before the Lord. Lord, you take care of it. I don't know how to face this particular problem. But you are the master I entrust them to. And therefore, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist in a worthy manner, we ask forgiveness for the times of our lack of trust and confidence in Him. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead with us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Today's Mass is being offered for Isabel Furtado. We pray it's a gift of life for her birthday. We pray also for that the Lord will do that which is best for her. And for the soul of Caroline, Carolina. O God who gave one origin to all peoples and willed to gather them from one family to yourself, Fill the hearts, we pray, with the fire of your love and kindle in them a desire for the just advancement of their neighbor, that through the good things which you richly bestow upon all, each human person may be brought to perfection, every division may be removed, and equality and justice may be established in the human society. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. All the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah. Look, they said to him, you are old and your sons do not follow your ways. So give us a king to rule over us like the other nations. It displeased Samuel that they should say, let us have a king to rule us. So he prayed to the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Obey the voice of the people in all that they say. For you it is not you that they have rejected. They have rejected me from ruling over them. All that the Lord had said, 
Samuel repeated to the people who were asking him for a king. He said, These will be the rights of the king who is to reign over you. He will take your sons and assign them to his chariotry and cavalry, and they will run in front of this chariot. He will use them as leaders of a thousand and a leaders of fifty. He will make them plow his plowland and harvest his harvest and make his weapons of war and the gear for his chariots. He will also take your daughters as perfumers, cooks and bakers. He will take the best of your fields, of your vineyards and olive groves and give it to his officials. He will take teeth your crops and vineyards to provide for his eunuchs and his officials. He will take the best of your manservants and maidservants, of your cattle and your donkeys, and make them work for him. He will feed your flocks, and you yourselves will become his slaves. When that day comes, you will cry out on account of the king you have chosen for yourselves. But on that day, God will not answer you. The people refused to listen to words of Samuel. They said, No, we want a king, so that we in our turn can be like the other nations. Our king shall rule us and be our leader and fight our battles. Samuel listened to all that the people had to say and repeated in the ears of the Lord. The Lord then said to Samuel, Obey their voice and give them a king. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Kindly repeat. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. Happy the people who acclaim such a king, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. Our response? I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of, your of your love, O Lord. Lord. For it is you, O Lord, you are the glory of their strength. It is by your favor that our might is exalted. For our ruler is the keeping of the Lord, our king in the keeping of the Holy One of Israel. Our response? I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of your love, O Lord. Lord. Kindly rise. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum, word went round that he was back. And so many people collected there that there was no room left even in the front of the door. He was preaching the word to them when some people came bringing him a paralytic carried by four men. But as the crowd made it impossible to get the man to him, they stripped the roof over the place where, the, where Jesus was. And when <coughs> they had made an opening, they lowered the stretcher on which the paralytic lay. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, My child, your sins are forgiven. Now some scribes were sitting there and they thought to themselves, How can this man talk like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God? Jesus, inwardly aware of what they were thinking, said to them, Why do you have such thoughts in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up, pick up your stretcher and walk. But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I order you to pick up your stretcher and go home. And the man got up, 
picked up his stretcher at once and walked out in front of everyone, so that they all were astounded and praised God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel by Holy Answers. One thing here in today's liturgy of the word, it is clear Jesus has the authority to forgive sins, therefore he is God. But more importantly, in the context of what we were talking about and connecting it to the first reading. The first reading, these people were asking for a king. And the response has been, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Does it fit into the first reading? It is the response to the first reading. It is when we understand this. God's plan was going to work in spite of the fact that the people in a certain sense seem to be rebelling. Actually, it was more the difficulty of Samuel himself. He had been the leader of the people, telling them what to do and all. Not that he was, now he was frightened, what's going to happen? He was thinking, how can I, I tell you what I know, what my limited knowledge is. But God has a plan, you have not been open to that. And Samuel was told, do what the people tell you. Therefore, he's got to be open to God. On our own part, several th times we are feeling things are out of, we are out of our control. Yes, we are out of control. And we may never be able to do, to do much about it. Only worry. And that's not help, help, helpful at all. Can we allow the Lord to take over? And this is the message which we have. And I definitely get. Let the Lord be the master. He is the master. He'll take over. sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear, O Lord, in your mercy the prayers of those who cry to you, and as you receive your church's offering, grant that all may be filled with the spirit of divine sonship, so that with inequalities in Overcome by charity, one family of people may be formed in your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, that we should give you thanks and praise, O God Almighty Father, for all you do in the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us, you change our hearts and prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your spirit, you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands in friendship, and people seek the way of peace together. By, your, by the working of your power, it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks, with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim, 
holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is your word that brings salvation, the hand that you extend to sinners, the way which brings peace to all offered, offered to us when we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins. You brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And so, now celebrating this reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his body, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of his death and resurrection of your Son, who left us a pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with the very spirit which takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of peace among all peoples. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Philip Neri our Bishop, bishops and the entire people your son has gained for you. Just as you gather this at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the blessed, uh, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and with all the saints, and our, with our brothers and sisters, those whom of every race and tongue whom have died in your friendship. Bring, them to share with, bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in the new heaven and the new earth, where the fullness of your peace will be revealed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Call to be united as brothers and sisters. Let us say the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive. For communion, number 11 on page 5. Number 11 on page 5. Sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inebriate me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me, 
within thy wounds hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the wicked enemy defend me, at the hour of my death call me, and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee for all eternity. Amen. Ask and it will be given you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened, says the Lord. Let us pray. Having been fed with the one bread by which we constantly be renewed in the human family, we pray, O Lord, that from participation in this sacrament of unity, we may be drawing more and more closer to you in purity of heart and help people in their development and prompted by charity to fulfill what justice requires. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. In number 155, on page 69, double five, page 69. Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. I want my God to dwell in my heart. So come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. I want my God to dwell in my heart.